first off, this is basically the same wheel as the TCPC racer. Um, only with Xbox compatibility. So if you're torn between the two, then it's, it's going to come down to what rim you prefer. And if you'll be gaming on Xbox or not. Spec wise, the motors are a 40 watt brushless, which delivers 50% dynamics, 4 times greater stall force, 1.6 times higher torque than the T300, and it uses a dual belt pulley system to drive all this to the shaft. This is then all measured by the Hall Effect sensors, which provide 16 bit resolution, while a new FOC algorithm dynamic dynamically optimizes the response of intense torque demands so what what does all that mean honestly i've got no idea <laughs> but i do know that the wheel feels absolutely fantastic to drive with now i come from the t300 which you use daily for around two years and it was a cracking wheel it had zero issues with it until one time it went into 50 percent power mode after a good few hours use and i kind of panicked which is what prompted me to upgrade but looking back, it was a bit of an overreaction because while waiting for me TSXW to arrive, the T300 worked absolutely perfectly. So if you have a T300 or a TX and you're just looking to upgrade for the sake of upgrading, I would probably say it's not really worth it. You'd as well to save up a little longer and make the switch to direct dive when the Fnatic and the Field VR hit the market since it'll probably start to drive the prices of direct drive wheels down. Don't get me wrong, the TSXW racer is definitely a step up in performance and if you're forced into a new wheel due to a fault or whatever, then I would say go for the TSXW or PC racer. Especially if you're using the wheel daily or for long periods as these wheels will run and run. In fact, I'd probably say that's the main advantage over the T300 is that you can run these bad boys at 100% and you're not going to have to worry about any overeating or force reduced power modes like you do with the older models. I personally always have to set my T300 to 75% in the profiler just as an air of caution because I was always aware of the potential of overheating. You don't have any such problems with the TS and the, two and the PC as there's a, there's a lot better cooling in these wheels. So now to the important stuff, how exactly does it perform? Well, my first force coming from the T300, I could instantly tell it was stronger. I had to turn my force feed back down in most games because it felt unrealistically strong. And I wanted to get it to match a similar feeling to what I'd come accustomed to with the T300. But the other thing I noticed was how notchy it was at idle. There's a prominent feel in the belt when just moving the wheel slightly. You can sort of feel it click with each sort of notch. But to be fair, when you're driving, you don't notice that at all. The improvement in the force feedback wasn't actually that apparent straight away. It took a little bit of time to adjust, but then I did start to notice all the subtle little differences that the TSXW had. Especially under braking, you can really feel the weight of the, the car load on the front suspension when you're braking. And all the little things like like the change of surface really come through nicely it's also much smoother than the t300 sometimes when there was a lot going on with different forces they would all kind of merge into one you get a bit of a clipping feeling but with the tx xw you can still pick up all those subtle little differences the next thing to mention is the packaging as a whole if you've already got a uh, pedal set uh, and you're playing on PC then the TCPC they set is obviously the way to go it's a nice little wheel but you're probably going to need more than that formula rim that comes with it unless you're just a formula fanatic but I wouldn't fancy playing rally titles with it now if you're out after the full set then obviously the TSXW is the way to go since the rim you get with that the P310 is a really decent all-round rim and it's going to see you through different types of games and different types of disciplines to be fair though as soon as i got the wheel i just put me sparko r383 rally rim on because 99 percent of the time i'm just playing rally titles anyway 
What I would say though, Thrustmaster really need to up the pedal game. The T3PA pedals that you get, they do get the job done as long as you've got the conical brake mod attached. But they seem to be way behind with Fanatec when it comes to pa pedals. They need to release a load cell mod or pedal set, definitely if they want to keep up with Fanatec. So there isn't really much to say that, that hasn't already been said in the earlier reviews. If you're just wanting to upgrade from the T300 then it's probably not wa really worth, worth it. But if you're coming from maybe a G29 or a T150 then you, are, you will notice a big difference. Then it basically comes down to what you need between Xbox compatibility what rim you want and whenever you need pedals or not the price that you're going to be spending on one of these wheels you're sort of getting into direct drive range especially with the especially with the wheels that are going to be coming out in the future as i say fanatec are releasing their wheel soon feel vr are going to be releasing their wheel soon that is more than likely going to start to drive the prices of the of the direct drive wheels down and the difference between a bell fed wheel and a direct drive wheel is is massive go and buy all the reviews of people who have got direct drive wheels so that's it for me just my thoughts really on since i've been using this wheel and upgrading from the t300 thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe hit the like button uh, and hit the bell for the notifications to get all the other content that we're getting out. And I'll see you on the stages. Take it easy. No.